Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about the topic of EQ and compression, especially if you're new to mixing and mastering and you don't know how to use it. Now here I've got open a track that I've mixed uh, over a year ago and I'm going to play, uh, play it to you guys right now. So let's have a listen. Let's listen from here. I put on my Air Force kicks, do my laces, then take this trip. No way am I stopping this whip. Rambo knife and a fuck off kitch. Stuck in a trap trying to make this door like ring ring, bro. There goes the microphone if the bad beat don't. Trust me, bro, this phone line twerks. I'm in the brought down bando. Okay, so limb plate from another part as well. Oh, we can't chill with a man. See me trying to get this door. Give me a microphone on both. I've got hoties feeling the drip. Two side my rise and a load of stick. They know we boys in the hood trying to get paid on full was good. I had a step to the strip with bro. Feeling lavish trying to get this door. Okay, so why did I play this track? Why am I playing it? I just want to show you guys from a year ago. This is this just track was uh, mixed in 2020. So even a year ago, how I want to show you guys how I went about my mixing and mastering process. And it's not all about using high expensive plugins. And you can achieve such a mix like this, even if you don't have high expensive plugins and you just have use stock plugins and just other plugins as well. But let me show you the mixer so that you know what I'm doing dealing with it. So as is as of usual, I have the recording track, the ad libs, dub, dubs. Vocal lead, lead, lead vox, and of course, we it into the vox bus. So, and then in the master, I have the Ozone 8 element. So, essentially, all the plugins I used uh, were the majority, of course, were stock plugins. And of course, I used some premium plugins at the Fab Filter Pro gate, and I used Ozone 8 elements. But what I'm trying to, I'm, the point I'm trying to make here is that you don't need so many uh, exotic plugins to get started with mixing and mastering. The main thing you need to understand is EQ and compression. If you can use EQ and compression, then that means you can mix anything really and truly. So let, let me break this down. So on the, let me, in fact, let me turn off all the effects so that you can hear how everything sounds like when it's raw. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoities feeling the drip. Two sides my rise and a load of stick. They know we boys in the hood. Trying to get paid on full was good. I just stepped on the strip with bro. Feeling lavish trying to get this door. Okay, so this is the lead vocals. Give me a lack of phone on both. I put on my Air Force kicks. Do my laces then take this trip. This was recorded with my old um, microphone. So that way you can kind of hear that. Okay, it sounds kind of hollow. And also I've recorded, if you look at my vocal lead track here, I've recorded with EQ and compression. Uh, nowadays I don't really do that as I explained in my previous video because it just takes away all of the flavor and the character from the vocals so I don't really tend to record using that but that's what I did there but as you guys can see even back then I used EQ and compression you know see that's the basics of what you need you don't need to be using fancy all this stuff when starting out of course eventually you 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 grow you know and that's the whole thing about progress you make you make you get better so lead vocals the reason why usually what I'll do now if of course if I didn't record into the the recording channel with the with these effects i'll put the eq and the compression on this bus on this channel and i'll do the same thing for the vocal dubs vocal dubs i always add the ozone imager ozone imager you can see it just stereo separates the what widens the stereo field of the track and then ad libs eq delay and pancake too uh i'm supposed to usually add compression on the um, ad libs as well but essentially let's look at the vox bus because this is where everything is happening if you if you actually look at these individual tracks here it's like it's almost as if there's nothing on them not really, not really. But you get what I'm trying to say. Like, there's barely any effects on the individual track. And then the vocal bus, compressor, and EQ. So let's look at this EQ and compression game here. Okay, let's uh, let's enable just the vocals, and we're going to play the vocals only. So I put on my air force. So nothing is enabled on the vox bus right now, but it's just on the individual tracks. I put on my air force. Let's play it from here. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on board. Oh, the reason why I use the gate is because. There was a lot of noise in, in at the time of the recording and plus yeah there's just a lot of noise i had to get rid of so if i play without the gate see me trying to get this door give me a lack of phone on both i've got hoities feeling the drip two side my rise and a load of stick they know yeah just you know just to get to clean up a bit nevertheless uh okay let's look at the vocal bus um, yeah the vocal bus so this compression so let me play one by one so let's play without the comp with the comp with without the compression and then with the compression See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoities feeling the drip. With the confession. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoities feeling the drip. Okay, so essentially what I did is, and this is the type of compression game I always do. Like if you watch any of my videos, you you know that okay. I usually go to about. I just hear it out. With the thing about issue and compression, when you're starting out, use it. Try and hear. You know, try and hear how compression what compression does to the vocals so doing a and b do a and b tests especially if you're starting out 
do an A and B test, get like a vocal recording, uh, do a test without compression and do a test with compression so that at least you know and understand how compression actually sounds like. Then after that, essentially all you're doing is reducing the threshold and the ratio and increasing the gain. And you can worry about the attack and release and the type afterwards, but threshold, ratio and gain. So the main thing I always do, and this is, like I say, this is this happens this happens all the time. I always set my threshold between between because you know, sometimes it can vary depending on depending on the vocal. I always send it, I set it between minus twenty to minus thirty decibels, and here you can see it's minus twenty four. And the ratio ratio I usually just set it to about between seven or no six to about ten. You can set it to basically I set it to until I set it at these levels until I hear the compression taking place. And again, I just set the gain increased because if I look, let me play without the gain. So let me reset this. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. And then I just set the gain so that I can start hearing it a bit because a bit more because it reduced the volume quite a lot. A lot. See me trying to get this door. Game. So let me take off this compression, this compressor, and let's start fresh so I can actually show you. Uh, let me quickly show you this EQ. This is EQ. I went presets, presets, uh, not video, vocal presence like that. Done. Okay, but let me show you. Okay, so if I, also, if I, if I was to add a filter compressor, essentially what I'll do to compress these vocals, see me trying to get this door. Let me just 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 go the threshold and reduce it as we go along. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got. Of course, with the threshold, you need to put the ratio up for it to work together. See me trying. To so let's say, for example, I put my threshold to just bang in the middle, minus thirty point three. And then now I want to slowly increase the ratio so that you can start hearing the effects of the compression. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoodies feeling a drip. Two side my rise on a loaded stick. They know we boys in the hood. Trying to get paid on full was good. I just stepped on the strip with bro Because I put the threshold to negative 30, I don't need a high ratio. But if I put it to about here. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoodies feeling a drip. Two side my rise on a loaded stick. They know we boys in and usually on the Vox bus, I add a lot more compression. So what I'm going to do now to counteract the volume, the, the gain loss, I'm going to increase the gain. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoodies feeling a drip. Two side my rise on a loaded stick. They know we boys in the hood. Trying to get paid on full was good. Now, uh, the next thing I'll add is like an EQ. So parametric EQ2, simple. You don't really need to be adding too much too many things but i think one thing i noticed especially with this old mix because this is a mix i mixed in 2020 so like a long time ago this was a year ago basically uh I, all i added was the presets and um, vocal presence and you can see it sounds all right you know like look listen see me trying to get this door give me a lack of phone on both i've got hope. but it's not really like it's you're not really doing any surgery and i think if you can use eq initially just to see how um like the vocal different vocal styles if you watch my um, video on vocal free, the free vocal mixing styles you can see the differences between how having more low end works with a vocal mix and having high vocal high end more high end on a vocal mix or even just more a bit more mid-range so once you understand at least the vocal styles you're aiming for you can at least go experiment with the eq game you're trying to do because at, at the end of the day it's not the style you're trying to go for so if i was just trying to go for like a high end type of vocal mix like a sharp clear vocal mix this preset here would be perfect the vocal presence preset would be perfect but essentially most of the time i don't i take this out i can take this out here or i reduce highs because i don't like too much high end anymore and you can see that clearly you can see in this mix i used to like a lot of the high end so that's what i'm going to do here just reduce some of that see me trying to get this door give me a lack of phone on both i've got hoodies feeling a drip two side my rise on a loaded stick and that's essentially all you you can do i mean not can do but no, that's not all you can do but that's basically what you need to do if you just want to have a simple mix and you don't really understand too much eq you see all i did was reduce a lot of the well reduce this like a, a slope here on the low end and then just you know of course just high end if it's if, depending on the microphone at the end of the day so it depends on the microphone see me trying to get this door and then of course you could add another eq this another eq that you add the parametric eq2 this is where you do surgery you know this is where surgery happens so surgery is more like so for example if i was to do some surgery right now i'll this is what i'll do i'll take this low end here and i'll listen now and i'll sweep through the whole uh frequency band and see where the harsh frequencies are at and then after i'm gonna dip those frequencies so just watch what i'm gonna do here see me trying to get this door give me a lack of phone on both i've got hoodies feeling a drip two side my rise on a loaded stick they know we boys in the hood trying to get paid on full was good so i'm gonna take this frequency here see me trying to get this because it gets a bit um harsh right here see me trying to 
see me trying to get this door. In fact, let me do it like this. So I can actually hear each of the different bands. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hotties feeling a drip. Choose how my rise on the load is stick. They know we boys in the hood. Trying to get paid on full was good. I just stepped in the strip with bro. Feeling lavish trying to get this door. Barbie's throwing up. Then I can do this. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hotties feeling a drip. See this? You can hear some of those harmonics there that are not really too sounding great tish. Then I'm going to reduce that frequency there. Let me bring this back out here. Instead of doing it, because I was going to do it downwards like this, I'm just going to do this. So tighten the band and just like sweep. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on board. That type of stuff. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoities feeling a jerk. Two side my rise on a load of stick. They know we boys in the hood. Trying to get paid on full was good. I just stepped in a strip with bro. Feeling lavish trying to get this door. Barbie's throwing up K's. Oh no, go chill with your mates. No way you can't chill with a man. Slide round there trying to rise and tan. See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoities feeling a drip. Two side my rise on a load of stick. They know we boys in the hood. Trying to get paid on full was good. I just stepped on the strip with bro. Feeling lavish trying to get this door. Barbie's throwing up K's. Oh no, go chill with your mates. No way you can't chill with a man. Slide round there trying to rise and tan. Aye, I said slide round there trying to rise and tan. Aye, I said slide round there trying to rise and tan. If I run up in your bundle with my Rambo, like please don't. See me trying to get this door. Okay, so I just did something there. Uh, that's this is what I'll do now, of course, on this on this vocal mix. So, there, so you can see what I did essentially is forget about these two here. Okay, these are the ones I just added now, right? So, okay, cool. Let's look at this. Oops, the Futo compressor compressed it, then I added this EQ with just a slope. Uh, what I could have done actually is added this EQ above the compressor. It really doesn't really matter, but it depends on what you want to go for and that's why I, I'm all about listening and listening and listening so you hear how you want to how you, how it works because you, you may have the um, discussion about what should I put first the EQ or the compressor do whatever works for you and that's why I really encourage people just to experiment 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 try and then try again type of thing cool so after that I added this compre this EQ and if you let's hear without this EQ see me trying to get this door give me a lack of phone on board let's hear it now with the EQ See me trying to get this door. Give me a lack of phone on both. I've got hoities feeling a drip. Two side my rise on a load of stick. They know we boys in the hood. Okay, so you can see that it controls it a bit more. But then again, it also depends on the microphone you have. So the, the let's say if you have a bad microphone, you're going to want to do more EQ. And if you have a good microphone, then maybe some EQ, but maybe not a lot. But it really depends on the vocal type as well and the vocal style that you're ultimately going for. So that's there on the vocal bus. And then on the beat, I had nothing. Um, and uh, what else? Adlibs. You can check out the Adlibs preset pack in the, in the description. It's for free. You can go check it out. Um, similar to this, basically. And then on the master bus. So let's listen to this with the beat now. Let's listen with, with the beat. I'm a solo guy. Don't fuck with many to master. Oh, yeah. Remember, you have to gain stage as well. So make sure that everything is... The volumes are set. But back in the day, I don't think this was too... Uh, let's listen I'm a, to this. I'm a solo guy, don't fuck with many to my set we men and back. Yeah, you can even see that the uh, the game stage and the levels on this track is even a bit absurd. It's a bit it's a bit mad out here. Like back then I didn't don't think I paid attention to a lot of the game staging, but it still sounds alright if you think about it. Like the track overall it sounds fine, but it I didn't really go through the proper channels of making this uh a professional professional mix. If I was to do this track again, I'll record all the vocals again and then mix again from scratch type of thing uh, but as again I, i'm just saying this is the old mix i've mixed like f from a year ago so i'm just showing you and uh, what result you can go with even if just by even if you follow these simple steps or this the, the steps i've just showed in this video so nevertheless let's look at the master bus so this is how it sounds like without anything on the master bus so far i put on my air force kicks do my laces then take this trip no way am i stopping this whip rambo knife and a fuck off kitch Stuck in a trap trying to make this door like ring ring bro There goes the lack of phone if the bad beat don't Trust me bro this phone line twerk Okay then now I did this O's and 8 elements Essentially what it does is it has an EQ bit here So I think I just put master assistant and just e did, did the EQ itself It has an imager plugin here I don't think it was actually enabled Actually it was a little bit 
and then a maximizer which is basically a limiter uh, i use this i was in eight elements because it's the one i had and it was i think i got it cheap back in the day it was kind of cheap and it just it's a nice limiter it just especially it's better than just having using the fruity fruity limiter or the what are the stock plugins because this is a it's by isotope and it's a bit better than just having stock plugins uh, but essentially what i'm trying to say this whole video is all about you don't really need too many like if you're starting out i mean this is this is if you're starting out if you're if you're the advanced in your mixing stage or mixing and mastering stage then possibly this video may not uh be of much help to you but if you're new to mixing and mastering and you have no clue or whatever then this hopefully this helps you out so let's play this now so essentially i maximized it i put the threshold or the threshold to wherever the the, the vocal is coming no, not the vocal the, the whole track is coming in at and yeah because the gain staging of this track wasn't entirely correct and the procedures weren't actually met uh, correctly you there is peaking in this you can see that there's actually peaking in some of the channels and tracks here so uh, let's play it but it sounds loud and that's 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 that was my aim at the time see me trying to get this door give me a lack of phone on both i've got hoties feeling the drip shoes on my rise and a loaded stick they know we boys in the hood trying to get paid on full what's good i just stepped on the strip with bro feeling lavish trying to get this door barbie's throwing up kids oh no go chill with your mates no way you can't and that's that there so yep set the threshold so it's loud enough of course don't squash it so that you do reduce all the dynamics but you do that there you get you can see it's peaking a bit here but essentially if i was to do this mix again i'll completely redo it and uh i will of course if i was to remix it again i'll follow my checklist now because i've got a mix and mastering checklist link in the description it's a pdf and it's free and it's a it helps you go about mixing and mastering so of course one of the first steps is import the tracks label the tracks and if you can see here i always label the tracks simple i keep things simple just a vox lead vox vocal dubs ad libs rooted into the vox bus that's it that's it that's it and then the beat has its own separate track so after you've labeled the track you want to start doing the gain staging stage and that's where you set all the levels uh but of course it wasn't done in this mix here but if i was to do a mix again i would definitely do all of that again and then of course you start mixing after you start mixing you start listening balance and balance the track and all that type of stuff then you move on to the mastering stage so if you, uh, that's the end of the video if you guys want to see me actually mix this track from scratch and how i'll go about doing a professional how what i'll consider a professional mix or a very very good mix then uh become a member press the join button next to the subscribe button or the like button and then i'll be releasing a professional mix tutorial breakdown of this track from scratch using whatever plugins you guys want so i can be using stop plugins i can be using waves plugins i can be using ssl slate digital whatever i'll just show you I'll do that and then eventually i'll also provide this uh this track as a vocal motor track if you are a member so click that button and join but if you guys like this video please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace see me trying to get this door give me a lack of phone on both i've got hoties feeling the drip two side my rise and a loaded stick they know we boys in the hood trying to get paid on full what's good i just stepped on the strip with bro feeling lavish trying to get this door